Hey there guys, Tim Heinrich with Team Rant. Motivation Monday. Today we're talking about, are you telling yourself the right story? And we talked a lot about inside out fitness and transformation on teamrep.com. And the reason for that is I believe you have to go through the transformation on the inside before you can get the results that you're looking for on the outside. And when I talk about what sort of story are you telling yourself, this has to do with what's your self talk like? How do you see yourself and how do you talk to yourself throughout the day and throughout your workouts and through your efforts when you stumble, when you do well? Are you congratulating yourself when you do well and when you fall off the wagon a little bit or perhaps you know you don't have quite the efforts that you wanted or you didn't get the results you wanted that week, are you talking down to yourself? Are you beating yourself down? This can make such a difference as far as the results you're getting. You could be going through the same actions talking to yourself negatively the whole time, and it's gonna be like trying to lift 3,000 more pounds than what you're really trying to do in the first place. Because not only are you fighting against where your body's at and the actual exercises that you're doing, but you're fighting against your mind. Your attitude is dragging you down even more. It's like being on another planet where the gravity level is just so much higher than it is here on Earth. It's, it's, it's putting more obstacles in your way than is necessary. And this is something that you can change, even though it may not seem like it, and you may not even be aware that you're talking to yourself this way, but it's something that you can start to become aware of and start to change little by little. And when you do this, even the actions that are hard are gonna become easier, okay? They're gonna become less stressful to you. They're gonna become less of a burden when you go about them and when you're even thinking about them, you're gonna get a whole new outlook and a whole new attitude towards the workouts and towards what your goals are, and you're gonna start to become excited about them instead of sort of dreading the process that you have to go through. And if you're in that place right now, you know what I'm talking about, okay? So I'll give you one little tidbit to practice going forward because you might be like, that sounds great, Tim, but I have no idea how to put that into action, okay. Let me tell you exactly what I would suggest you do if you struggle with this sort of thing, telling yourself negative stories about what you're capable of, okay? So, when you get to the end of a workout and you know, even if you're not real happy with the results you're getting right now, you know when you have a good workout, you know? You feel good, maybe you went in with good energy, you pushed through, you, you got more reps than you did last time, you had better energy, you didn't have to stop as often, and you know that during that time, or right after the workout, you feel good about yourself. It's okay. You know, before, it might be just a tiny little second in there, but before all the negative self-talk comes back in, you feel pretty good about yourself, okay? I want you to start recognizing when you're starting to feel good about your progress, okay? And when you do, you need to, th to make it a point to congratulate yourself, to give yourself credit, you know? Say, hey, Great job today, you had a great workout. Say it to yourself, sounds ridiculous, but when you say it to yourself, you reinforce the feeling, you reinforce the behavior. And as you do that more and more, it gets easier to give yourself positive self-talk. So even when you're tired and not feeling like doing a workout, you can talk yourself up, be like, no, 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 you got this. I know you're tired right now, but you're gonna feel really great afterwards and you can totally kill this. And it's gonna make it a lot easier to do the workout. Okay, and do what you need to do to reach your goals. You know, to stick to your diet and everything. Okay, so that's my suggestion for you today. If you have other comments or suggestions or things that have helped you in this area, maybe you've overcome some negative thinking in the past, please share it in the comments section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this as well. Any questions or comments, post them up below. Have a great Monday. This is Tim Heinrich with TeamRev.com. We'll talk to you next time.